So, in the last lecture, we have started uh, discussing on algorithms, right, for detecting anomalous entities uh, from a graph. Okay, and we looked at uh, you know a taxonomy, and we have discussed the uh, uh, and we, we are discussing algorithm where uh, we use a plane graph, right, and we use different structural properties, right, mostly feature-based approach, right to detect anomalous entities and we have uh, discussed one such algorithm which is called oddball right so in uh, in in today's uh, lecture we look at the other types of algorithm so we look at proximity based approaches so mostly in the proximity based approach um, we 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 uh, basically measure the distance between a pair of nodes and <clears throat> based on that we uh, essentially compute different metrics. For example, uh, page rank we have already discussed, random work with restart we discussed in the in the link analysis chapter, personalized page rank we also discussed in the link analysis chapter, simp rank uh, and invariance also discussed in the link analysis chapter, jacket coefficient, jacket proximity and other similarity mat metrics for example, say atomic adder right and um, uh, say half depression index and uh, authority depression index and so on and so forth. So, all these measures are generally used to check the distance between a pair of nodes right and if a node is very very far from the remaining nodes in the graph then you can say that uh, that node is basically an outlier ok. So, let us look at the community based approaches as I mentioned I will not go deeper into all uh, such you know possible cases, but I will I will focus on very few specific algorithms which which have been used as a baselines for for quite some time. So, in the community based methods basically again in, in a st static graph static plane graph ok non attributed graph. So, basically here the idea is that it lies so in the static plane graph community based methods the aim is to find densely connected groups of close by nodes right in the graph and spot nodes or edges that have connections across communities so it is basically saying <laughs> that you have um, you know uh, these communities and then say let's say nodes are like this right uh, articulation points we discussed earlier uh, and we have edges which are connecting different communities and so so these edges which are basically bridge edges those edges can be can be uh, annotated as can be uh, identified as anomalous edges right so it can be thought of as finding bridge nodes and edges that do not directly belong to one particular community now, this is one way of defining an outlier for a, for, a, for a given graph and community ok. You can also define in your own way right. So, now let us look at uh, some of the algorithms again very briefly uh, say um, you know several real world data sets can be represented in terms of bipartite network say uh, and, and in the bipartite network if you think of uh, you know uh, bridge nodes which again uh, connect uh, uh, different communities, different clusters that can be useful. For example, if you think of uh, uh, publication network, say author paper bipartite network, and if a, if an author has published a paper, you can connect and so on, right? So in this particular graph, you can possibly see that okay, this is one community where uh, nodes have collaborated quite. Uh, these authors have collaborated quite frequently. Similarly, there is another uh, community where authors have collaborated frequently and uh, there are uh, authors which is basically connected to this community as well as this community ok. Uh, you can think of this author as an interdisciplinary author right uh, working in diverse areas. Similarly, in a customer product network if you think of user product bipartite network users generally tend to um, uh, buy products uh, you know uh, based on 
the interest of their neighbors. So we, when we buy products, we basically ask for recommendation from my, from from our uh, friends, neighbors, and sometimes they recommend and based on that we, we, we buy products. But if you see cases where users are connected to multiple uh, multiple communities, right? User is connected to multiple products, for for example, and and, and the products and say let's say the products are diverse in nature then uh, uh, that that particular user may be right uh, may be an anomalous user okay so here what are the problems there are two problems the first problem is how to find the community of a given node which is also referred to as the neighborhood of a node so in this type of algorithms we generally do not use traditional community detection algorithms to detect communities, right? So what we do, we generally uh, take a graph and take a node and uh, and identify um, uh, its neighbors, right? And we keep on exploring tightly connected neighbors and we group them together. Now this is a very vague way of detecting communities, but here the idea is that we detect community and outlier at the same time simultaneously, right? So the first question is how to find uh, you know the community of a given node uh, which you also call as a neighborhood and then how to quantify the level of a given node to be a bridge node okay so remember our task is here to detect node which is which acts as a bridge node okay of course we have discussed many algorithms edge betweenness node betweenness and so on and so forth in the past but here we look at another such algorithm to identify bridge nodes okay so the first question how to identify neighborhood of a node what we do here we here do something called random walk with restart we discussed it earlier right so given a graph we start from a node right and do random walk with restart with certain probability the random walker jumps right and with certain probability it again comes back to the seed node okay and what what it would do this random walk with restart would essentially uh, score all the nodes based on the uh, probability of visiting that nodes okay so in the stationary distribution you will get some sort of page rank score right and this is personalized because there is a jumping probability and this jump allows you to only move to the seed node right so you will get personalized page rank scores uh, for all the nodes right now think about it so so then what you do then then if if uh, nodes have higher uh, personalized page rank values right those nodes are basically neighbors so you repeat this random walk with restart for example multiple times okay and those nodes which are within the close proximity of the given seed node those nodes will be visited multiple times and those nodes will will also gain high personalized page rank score right so this is the idea so in this way we identify nodes with high personalized page rank scores right and we we basically assign them as neighbors of the given seed node okay so the next question is how do we quantify the label of a given node to be a bridge node okay so pairwise personalized page rank score among all the neighbors right of the given node are aggregated by averaging to compute so called normality score okay so what what are we doing here so <clears throat> so we take a pairwise we take a pair of nodes right <coughs> we take a pair of nodes and we measure the uh, pairwise personalized page rank uh, scores right and if the scores are quite similar then we say that okay this is a basically a normal kind of nodes okay so intuitively nodes with low normality scores have neighbors with low pairwise proximity to one other think about it let's say let's say 
okay um, you start from the seed nodes okay and you 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 repeat the uh, uh, random mock register multiple times so this node will receive um, less personalized page rank value right now if we measure the pair wise similarity of personalized page rank scores right automatically this node will have less pair wise similarity with all the other most of the nodes right so therefore this node can be identified as a <coughs> as a as an outlier node or a bridge node okay so this is the idea a very simple idea but of course you can make it sophisticated but this is the idea okay so there is another algorithm which essentially you know <coughs> uh, identified nodes with similar neighbors um so uh, you know so so this is the idea so edges that do not belong to any community again the cross cluster <coughs> bridge edges right those edges can be um, tagged as anomalous edges so nodes that that have many cross connections to multiple different communities right are considered not to belong to any particular cluster okay so this algorithm auto part right proposed long time back uh, is a parameter physicist a non parametric uh, uh, kind of iterative algorithm which uses minimum description length i'm not going into details of this but it basically uses uh, bits right to encode nodes and the idea is that if a node is rare that node uh, will be uh, encoded with a lengthy uh, uh, bit i mean a set of bits right so and, and this way it basically identifies uh, nodes which are which are rare which are uh, outlier anomalous in nature okay all right so uh, in the next lecture we will look at the uh, attributed graph and we will discuss one such algorithm in details which uh, takes into account the community information as well as the attributes of uh, nodes and edges to identify uh, to to identify outliers or anomalous entities in a network thank you